Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me this evening at AGX Avant Garde Exotics where I've popped out in the Ford GT to come and catch up with Alex Choi and his rather famous Unicorn V3. It is a car that was once a Lamborghini Huracan. It is no longer fully recognizable as the Lamborghini it once was, but we're going to be taking a look, catching up with Alex, talking about what he has done to this thing to make it probably the most crazy car that's actually out there on the roads and then we'll take it out for a little drive as well so the car's just on its way back now having a few things that have been done to it it should be arriving any second and we'll be able to check it out i can't wait to actually see this thing and we are joined then by alex hello how you doing Good, how about you? I'm all very good. We're a bit earlier in the day than we were when we came to have a look at the McLaren, and you've come with something else different as well. My daily driver. Daily driver, Tesla. Tesla. We Model don't really have these, Tesla Model 3. Model 3 performance. Yeah, I heard you guys, don't, I heard they don't even have autopilot in Europe. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, not really. Yeah. And we, we actually just had a quick play with some of the gadgets. I don't really know how to describe it. It's more like a computer this game than like a car. It's a nerd's paradise. Yeah. Like a tech geek's paradise. It's so cool. I could go off about how many things I talk about this car. I couldn't quite believe it, and we might have to do a full thing with this. For the time being, though, where's the unicorn? It's supposed to be here two minutes ago. <laughs> like now. So yeah. any moment, we will have it arriving. We'll be able to take a look at this thing, and hopefully you can tell us about quite how crazy it all is, because, I, I mean, I've seen some of the videos, and it's... Is it, is it a car? Do you call it a car? Is it, is it a Lamborghini? I don't really? know. I don't no, know. it's something pretty unique. Literally, it's a unicorn. I'll probably scroll down in your comment section to see what curious name What, what name people come up, come up with it. With. So any, in a second, this thing is going to arrive. I'm not sure if this is safe. <laughs> that's not the Lambo. Um, I'm not quite sure what's happening. That's that's not the vehicle we were waiting for. No. What is it? It's my R1M. Uh, the battery died, so I'm just warming it up. Do you have anything standard? No. <laughs> I tell you what, at least, a Krapovich, exactly the same yeah, as same on the GT, company. same company indeed. Krapovich logo, my titanium exhaust, looking more and more blue every day that goes past and the car gets driven ever so more. This though, um, is us waiting as the sun is setting. Actually, that's a really cool sunset right now for the, uh, the car to arrive, hopefully, very, very shortly. We can hear it. I haven't driven this car for four months. Really? Yeah. But you can hear the uh, the sounds of that unmistakable engine from a mile away. There it comes. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing. I've been looking forward to seeing this in person. And here it is. Is it a Lambo? Is it a, I don't even know. It's the unicorn. Gone are the body panels, replaced with a ginormous rolling roll cage, or as some people have called it, the floats that you have swimming. It's like a, the swimming pool floats. Can you work in that? Pool noodles. Pool noodles, that's the one, pool noodles. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Tail lights flipped around. Intake up here. Everybody next to you. Work done by Sheepy Race. The lights around the front. Better. <laughs> we are quickly getting all the lights on and it's looking very, very, very bright. Yeah, you're not going to miss that. The yellow lights down below. Do you think it's bright enough? No. No? You no. want some more? Wow, lot that's of, cool. A lot of the lights are broken actually right now. Okay. Because of the fuses. But the, the switch box up there with all of the different light switch. Yeah, I could, I could run you down this whole thing if you want. Well, let's do that in a moment. For the moment, I think we need to take in the, uh, the outside of the car. I, come on, give me give me the quick lowdown. What? Where body, do you want me body, to start? Where body. Do you want me to start? Body is bell body is not what it was. No, it is not. It's a uh, uh, chromoly yeah. steel oh, steel and chromoly mix of okay. You know what they actually make roll cage out of? Um, so the entire body is a roll cage. The entire body is a roll cage. Yeah. With um, basically lots of exposed a lot of its pieces, parts. exposed can M filters. This is a can M filter off a semi truck. Okay. Could you not? One on each side. Uh, one on each side. And then this Feed. is the first air-to-air -air intercooler ever on a Lamborghini. 
Okay. All feeding the engine, which is what exactly? Still the 5.2 V10. So 5.2 V10, yeah. No longer naturally aspirated. Mm, obviously not. So what is it running? Uh, I don't know. Great question. It's supposed to do theoretically a thousand horsepower. Thousand horsepower from turbos? Twin turbo, thousand horsepower twin turbo. Okay. Horsepower twin turbo. Exhaust tailpipe's just sticking out the back of the cage. Lights flipped upside down. Yeah, that's a cool touch. I I saw that in your video. Turn those on. Sure. So we get the lights on. Of course, different wheels, different springs, different suspension, different literally everything. Oh, we've we've got one at the moment, but not both. That's slightly funky. But at least we've got one. That's step one. This is the DIY solution fix. This is what happens when you have exposed. Oh, there we go, fixed. Problem solved, we've got both tail lights on. Um, okay, so a thousand odd horsepower, lots and lots of lights. Lots of light. Wheels, springs, suspension? Suspension is fully stock. Uh, okay. These are just temporary wheels. I have other wheels coming for the car that are actually like, supposed to match the car. They're three okay. piece. Okay. Cool wheels. So those are just temporary wheels. Um, rally lights, a lot of lights this one's loose a lot of these are loose they all need to be tightened um all these strobe lights are all broken right now because of a bad fuse okay um obviously we lose a frunk there's all the electrical equipment that's in here now mm -hmm. cool under the front then all the electronics for pretty much the lights that's just the lighting electronics just the lighting electronics um that's for this this, this is an amp for the siren Mm -hmm. And then the, all the lights run off a separate ba separate battery. It's okay. I mean, you never normally have much of a frunk in a Hurricane anyway. Yeah. But you certainly don't anymore. No. You're not going to be taking your luggage and it has to be bolted down with clips. Probably have less than your Ford GT now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting battle. Who can you actually, which car can actually take a little bit more luggage? <laughs> the uh, AGX, face right to the front. Oh. I mean, it's, it's getting dark quickly, but this thing is just, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. See belts? Pink seat belts to match the exterior. Yep. As you do, very perfect. I mean, this was a long time in the works. Six months. Yeah. In the works. Yeah, it wasn't easy. And it's had a few things that have had to be done to it. Yeah. I, I, I'm just taking it all in. Um, <laughs> I guess we just got to sort out a few things, then hop on board very shortly and yeah. go see what it's about. We are just doing a very quick workshop shuffle to bring and swap things around. 458 out. This is going to be coming in, in fact, inside right now. Lots of amazing cars being worked on. Yellow Lambo Central, it would appear. And then, uh, I guess, <laughs> we're going to be having this come inside. Slightly fewer bright lights on now at the front. Just look at that. I, I, what is this car? Alex, what have you done? It's insane. It pretty much blew up the internet when it was revealed, unsurprisingly. When you look at it now. Wow. <laughs> it's actually now a little bit later. The car's had the air conditioning regassed, but it is now back outside, ready to be experienced. So um, yeah, we're gonna jump on board the Unicorn to offer you some feedback for what this is actually like. Listen to the sounds of it. Where you hear the air. That's really cool, the sounds from just outside. Yeah. Sounds really, really, really good. So take a careful step in here because we've careful, got Careful, there's a uh, laptop right under you. Ah yes, that's okay, that's what that is. Logs, yep. yep, let's be careful with that. Seat belts. Definitely, pink seat belts. Naturally to match with the car. This is so Oh the hurricane text on the inside. The switchboard up top is crazy. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll explain that in a second. That's a whole chapter. So, 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 so. <laughs> this is probably the most unusual thing I've ever been on the road in. Wow. I mean, until you did that, I was gonna say it sounds like a hurricane. It sounds and feels like a hurricane. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then when you did that, the uh, sounds were not turbo. quite so normal. There was a yeah. lot of turbo going on there. A little bit dark, of course. There are people standing in the middle of the road. Little do they know what's coming. <laughs> Let's get a small idea. I'm glad. <laughs> Was that the reminder to you, having not driven it for so long, about what it can do? Yeah, it's, it's four months since I've driven this car. <laughs> yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
crazy. I mean, by a little bit, I mean very crazy. <laughs> Is it what you remembered? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. It, like, it, it just woke a hurricane from my experience. I swear these windows up so I can actually talk. Oh, it didn't really make much difference. No. All the noise coming from right yeah. behind us. <laughs> from, my, from what I remember, like a stock base Huracan is almost like my McLaren. It's very like precise. There's not much like, excitement going on, but it's like a Porsche. It's like really I'm just going to interrupt. This, this ground here is shocking. Yeah. Welcome to Los Angeles. They need to fix that desperately. <laughs> this is a complete disgrace. Anyway, you were saying sorry. What well, it's like. McLaren but, Porsche. Yeah. It, well, no, I was just saying like a stock Huracan is almost like a regular, you know, McLaren or a Porsche. Where it's like very like precise. You know, it's a dual clutch gearbox. And then this twin turbo kit and all this stuff just makes it more like an Aventador. It's where it's like kind of pointless, but a lot more exciting if that makes sense. It's just more Lamborghini. Sense. It's just way more Lamborghini, yeah. Like just a pointlessly fast, loud, silly, impractical, silly, impractical uncomfortable. Machine. Yeah, this is literally now I think what a Lamborghini should have been like, you know? Do you know what? I'm surprised that when you're driving generally, it actually drives pretty well. Yeah. Like, it's really loud though. I think something's missing right now. Something's going on. We pull the windows back down. All right, let's do it. What was that? <laughs> it's loud. Loud, fast, ridiculous. Goodness gracious me. acceleration I'm being pressed back into my seat I'm feeling it kind of like that that talky feeling where your head is planted back onto the headrest and you just can't move like that it just explodes I love it there's so much going on in the noise it's, I love it. all that, sorts of noise happening so how bright is it if you flick the lights on Wow <laughs> You've got the fighter jet switches. They're like switches oh, yeah. and everything. These are these are what controls the lights. Actually, let me come to a stop and explain it to you. Yeah, there's sure. a lot going on in there. Okay. You got the master switch. Yeah. Turn it on. This is what controls the light bar. You drove lights. Okay. Yeah. So you got it all. You know, it's like it's literally off a straight off a police car. You got the directionals. Okay. You can't really see from the outside, but like, you, like, I can see the reflections of the yeah. lights behind as you do that. So, so that's the directionals. Stuff that's flashing. Yeah. Get those from the outside later. Um, these are some more strobe lights, and then every light has their individual switch. So these yeah. are the search lights on the side. These are the the A pillar lights. These are the C pillar lights. Yeah. Oh, these are the overhead lights, like a almost like a G wagon. Um, these are the the four rally lights on the front. They're okay. two channels. Um, these are miscellaneous lights, like the flood lights on the bottom, the rock crawling lights. And the rear lights, so I can actually blind <laughs> my tailgater if someone wants to tailgate me. Yeah, yeah. Um, this, there's actually a key to this. Um, yeah. I don't know where the key is. So the, to this car actually has a nitrous purge kit. A nitrous purge <laughs> kit. Like okay. When Paul Walker comes in from Too Fast and Furious, his GTR spits okay. out steam. That's nitrous purging. So you turn the key on to on position. That's how you arm it. You flip it on, and then this little button right here lights up. It says fire missiles. <laughs> And that's how you purge it. Obviously, there's no nitrous in here right now, so yeah. So that's how you disarm it again. Okay. Um, this is your train horn pump. Yeah. And once the pump lights up and that lights up, I can press the. It's a disconnected right now. But okay. I've got and that would be very loud. Very very loud. Yeah. Train okay. Horn. And um, then the switches across the back. These are some of the more like auxiliary things. Um, these three are actually blank right now, so they actually don't control anything. But that's okay. in case I want to expand later. Okay. So if I want to add more lights later on, I left those blank. Yeah. Um, this powers this thing on, and then I actually forgot what this does. 
Oh well, something. Yeah, something. Yeah. Actually, no. This powers this on. I can see the the light flashing. As it oh yeah, powers yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Um, and then in case I see a, a cop. Press <laughs> <a bit> <laughs> cop. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, back to normal. Yep. What call normal Lamborghini Hurricane lights? No. <laughs> Let's pull up with all these lights on. Just ridiculous, this thing. Oh, the front clearance is good. Yeah. No low aero splitters, I guess. No, I've, I've nailed the front into a lot of things before. You really yeah. feel it in the car because the front splitter is like now a part of the chassis, so you like the whole car just goes. Yeah, yeah. You know, what's a real question right now that all my fans are curious about, and even actually myself is curious about, is whether or not this or my McLaren is faster. Because this weighs 4,000 pounds. Yeah. With all the roll cage stuff, I'm guessing it weighs 4,500 pounds. Yeah. Um, but it's got a substantially more amount of horsepower. McLaren weighs quite shy of three, it's very, it's like 3,100 pounds. I think. Yeah. So it's a thousand and a half lighter, has less horsepower. Rear wheel drive, this is all wheel drive. It's yeah. a good race, that'd be a good race. But well, this is definitely gonna have some traction questions. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 this has no traction problems. This is ridiculous. This is honestly absolutely ridiculous. All the lights are on if you want to. All right then. So, come and have a quick look at all the lights on the X. Yeah, that's blinking away. You're a madman. I mean, you've never done that. This makes your McLaren seem really ordinary. It is ordinary. Compared to this. <laughs> this is literally when the imagination runs wild and Alex Joy decides to do whatever he can do to make a car that is frankly absurd. My words. <laughs> That was weak. Here you do it. What do you press? The middle button? Side. Like a little radio. Okay, like a radio. Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Yep. <laughs> Not hi guys, I'm Choi. Hi guys, I'm Choi. I should start doing that. <laughs> what are they using in the UK? Is it this? Not really. Is it this? No. no. That one. This is what they're using. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like a UK siren. That's a UK use, cop. I thought they use this. No. Right. No. Nope. Is that Germany? That's France. <laughs> now we've got another Ford GT. <laughs> one of one. That's some pretty good drift skills. <laughs> the, question, oh. the question is. is can I do it skills? while I'm holding a video camera? Well, <laughs> this is this is the challenge, the eternal challenge. Okay, can you line this up? It. Give it a twist. <laughs> oh, there we go. One-handed. One-handed. Well, this is quite entertaining. Speed Racer's got the wheels now. I've managed to crash a Ford GT many times, and Alex is chill chilling on his wing. How you doing out there? It's pretty warm from the engine. I can heat. imagine. He just literally crashed in the Ford GT into your Tesla. I kid you not, the Ford GT crashed into the Tesla. You owe me a new Tesla. <laughs> a whole new Tesla. A whole new Model 3 performance. And a Ford GT. And a Ford GT. I'll take the Ford GT. <laughs> well, Alex, this was good fun. Thank you very much, as always. You. you are you are a crazy crazy man with the idea to come up with something like this and um, yeah I don't it's know nice to get it out of my system you know yeah yeah and I'm sure this isn't the end of the crazy uh, like things projects for you I miss doing clean builds though so like I, I want to do like a I don't know if you guys noticed but I like, switched off between doing a crazy build and then a clean build and then I, went, I did this crazy build so so next up is a clean build I did my M2 which is a clean build so yeah well this. the M2 for a clean build it's pretty crazy. Uh, at least the wrap is one color all around. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and it's not covered in a roll cage. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna wrap this one up there. Thank you very much again, everybody. Alex, your link's down below. Thank you. And we will see you again very soon. For now though, I hope you've all enjoyed this look at Unicorn V3, the Sheepy Race AGX. 
hurricane on major. <laughs> it's just a climbing frame. With on... a fuel cap. Oh, is it? It's <laughs> zip tied on. Oh, amazing. Yeah, well, it's got to be there, right? <laughs> that's one problem we didn't solve. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Appreciate your support. Alex's link's down below. This thing is ridiculous, and that's it for today. Thanks again, and we'll see you very soon. Cheers.